Hello everybody, I'm FHRC Brony and today we're here with another Forza Motorsport 4 video. And yeah, I'm sorry for this little cheap method of recording video footage, but this is the best I could do, especially when I'm when it comes to playing an Xbox 360 game when you don't have a capture card. And no, I am not going to invest on a capture card because I heard uh on an article that Forza Motorsport 4 will become backwards compatible on Xbox One very soon. And until, unless that's not fake news, as long as they're going to be promising that they're going to be doing that backwards compatibility on my Xbox One, until then, I'm going to be doing it this method. But once Forza Motorsport 4 becomes backwards compatible on Xbox One, you'll be able to see high quality video footage. So we are here uh, racing in my upgraded, semi-upgraded Ferrari 360 Modena here on Circuit de Barcelona, Catalonia. And I'm racing against S-Class cars, by the way, if you are wondering. As you can see, there are, all those guys are S-Classes. The, car, the only upgrades on this car is just mainly just handling. I just made this car improve handling, not really on top speed. So there's no engine upgrades on this car. And this is an A-Class, by the way. Just, a, just about to hit the S-Class margin. But, yeah. Get hit by a four five eight. There goes that 599 pulling away. And Venton pulls away. And Akonaze pulls away, but they're still within their ring. Ooh, there's a contact right there. See, this is what, the only thing I don't really get about Forza Motorsport 4 is like, even the slightest love taps you do on a car. It kind of looks like that you completely damaged it. Like I... Yeah, like that. Because Forza Motorsport 7 at least does not do that stuff. Like if it's a love tap, I mean, the physics are a lot better on Forza Motorsport 7. But this is a 2011 game, and I'm comparing it to a 2017 game, so... It kind of doesn't make sense, but I mean... But this is the first, this is the Forza game that I pretty much grew up with until Forza Horizon, way before Forza Horizon and the rest of the Forza game. Basically, this game, Forza Motorsport 4, was the first Forza game that, that really made me get into Forza. And by the way, I have another Forza game that I'm going to show you guys very soon. Unless you guys are following me on Facebook, uh, especially on my Forza group that I have. There goes some sliding. What's that 599XX? Oh, what am I thinking? It's not 599XX. 
It's a regular 599. I don't care if I'm not going to win first place anyways. I only play this game mainly for nostalgic purposes, so yeah. And just playing this game is like, brings me back to the good memories when I was like, you know, I don't know, like 12 years old. Circuit the Barcelona Catalonia in this car, man. It's just a whole lot of fun, especially with if you don't slap in a lot of engine upgrades and you just really make built this car just for handling, it handles like a charmer on this track. And it's too bad that the newest Forza games doesn't even have the regular 360 Modena because the only 360 Modena that's in in like in Forza 5 and newer, like from Forza 5 all the way to Horizon 4, the only 360 Modena you can drive is the Challenge Stradale. It's not a car like this. I kind of like the looks of this one where it's mostly subtle and you know, you can have that supercar experience, that Ferrari supercar experience without having the trouble of, you know, like the other 360 Modena called the uh, Challenge to Dale. Because the, 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 ah, man, I can't speak today. The Challenge to Dale, it, it's like too in your face. Compared to this one, uh, excluding the wing and the front splitter, it looks so subtle. It's probably far away already. Oh, I placed first. What a surprise. If you don't believe me, huh? I thought I did not. I thought that 599 outrun me already, but looks like it didn't. So anyways guys, I hope you guys enjoyed my little Forza Motorsport 4 video of my 360 Modena racing around Circuit de Barcelona Catalunya. Hope you guys enjoyed and once again, I once Xbox One officially, once Microsoft officially posts that the Forza Motorsport 4 video game, or yeah, once Microsoft approves that Forza Motorsport 4 will be become backwards compatible on Xbox One, I promise you guys there will be some high quality videos uh, of this of this game I I promise you guys and if you guys want to know what that next Forza Motorsport game that I have um, I'll make an update video on that so you guys can see for yourselves aside from that hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll talk to you guys again later